Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name's Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and if you are new here, hello! It is morning time, and I am here to do a full face, first impression, all day, blah 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 blah, so many, so many things, of a new brand. Can't see it? Can't see it. It is the brand Lottie, and this I believe is new to Alta. I don't, I don't think... I don't think it was Sephora. I don't I don't think I don't really know any of that kind of stuff. I try not to get too wrapped up into like the where it's new to because I feel like there's always gonna be like a feud. It's like a Montague Capulet type thing. Sephora, Alta, Sephora, Alta. But these I bought from Alta. It's the whole brand. I have I think everything in here. I so we're gonna try it out today. See how successful, hopefully successful, it is because I have to go to work all day and I don't wanna look that bad. <laughs> so let's sort through some products, jump right in, talk about some stuffs. I'm excited. Okay, so if I was primer, where would I be? If I was a primer, oh. I'm not in here. Okay, so the first item up for bid is the Ultra, what is it? No, Insta, not Ultra. Insta Filter Pore Eraser Stick, again by Lottie. These are all by Lottie, so I'm not gonna hopefully say that every single time, but the brand is spelled L-O-T-T-I-E. You know, in case you're one of those people like me that goes to Alta website and tries to type it in and, you know, can't because they spell everything wrong. <laughs> it's a hard life. <laughs> okay, we come in a stick. We look like Elmer's glue, like legit Elmer's glue. Do you see that? Oh man, is this going to be a fun time. We're just kind of smearing on our face. Oh guys, that feels oily. <clears throat> oh good. Yeah, well, you know what? Hold on. Take a look at this. There are like little tiny chunkies. You probably can't see them because they're white, so I bet that this light coming in just takes them away. But there are little chunks all up in here. Not enjoyable. Okay, so let's just let's just get rid of those. Yeah, like this right here. That's a great example, actually. Do so you see the chunks on the side of this container thing? Those are like all over my face. Like just like all over it. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it's just like magical, but I don't know. Okay, so do I think that it filled many pores? Not so much. I mean I don't really think my skin looks that different. In my opinion, primer you don't normally see. I mean, sometimes you're lucky enough to, but a lot of times you don't. Next, we are going in with the Lottie Selfie Ready. Selfie Ready, yep. Medium coverage matte foundation. Obviously, I did pick matte because <laughs> look at my grease ball. And let's open this bad boy up. Okay, let's go ahead and... Keep in mind, I didn't test these shades, so I have no, these might be a horrible match for my skin tone. Okay, that's actually not a horrible match, and as you can see, it's not like horrible runny. Like, it's pretty much, it's pretty well staying right where I put it, and it's not a bad match, so I'm going to go in with a blue, actually, you know what? Scratch that. I'm going to go in half brush, half beauty blender, because, you know, that's always the, the conundrum, if you will. So let's go ahead. I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit so you can actually like see my face. And uh, we're going to get this potty started. All right, let's go in. We're going to take some of the some of it on the brush here. We're just going to... Wow, not bad coverage. Okay, the, co the color isn't bad either. Okay, what the... Okay, it smells different. Almost like a chemical. It's like where chemical met a laundry detergent perhaps. So, okay, this right here, wow, that looks crazy to see the difference, but this half is like one thin layer. This one has nothing, as you can tell, and um, I feel like it did give a little, like a nice little bit of coverage. I actually like, because I feel like it has like a sheen to it, and I don't know if it'll pick up on camera or not, but it has like almost a luminescence in it that I'm very not used to with um, matte foundations, I, but I do like it, and I love the way that it went on with a brush. I feel like it did like a very nice finish. I'm gonna do the other side like I said with a beauty blender. I will come back on let you know in a second if it was any different or not. But we will find out. We will get to the bottom of this. So I went in <clears throat> half and half obviously brush, beauty blender and I feel like I almost like the beauty blender side better. It, it, like I feel like my product actually went a little farther which is pretty uncharacteristic for beauty blenders but it, it just I don't know, I feel like it pushed into the skin a lot nicer than this side. This side looks good, but I just feel like this side in person is like a hair better. So I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna fix both sides, and then we'll move on to concealer. Hang tight. Okay guys, I went ahead, I did roughly two full coats. I mean like two coats. 
headphones like I'm painting a portrait. But actually, I really like the way that this looks right now. I feel like it looks natural, slight dewy, but yet I can I can feel that it's more mattifying. I like that. I don't know. I'm so intrigued by this foundation right now because normally like a mattifying foundation immediately begins to like suck the, you know, out of my skin. And this is like doing the opposite. And I don't know. I feel like my nozzle area is looking pretty snatched. Like it's getting this skin somewhere. It's like, hey girl, hey girl, you don't got hate on me today. No creases all up in here, which is shocking because normally like right away with my foundation, I'll get crease lines like in my nose because, you know, my nose is like city of New York wide on my tiny little suburban face. And it's like, okay, well, I don't have a small face, but anyways, concealer. Next, we have the You've Got It Covered concealer in the shade Fawn, which again is the lightest shade I believe I could find. Yeah, so that's like too dark. Like that's darker than foundation for me. Um, so I will not be able to use this. I'm gonna have to go in with my shape tape, which really bums me out because I was, I love new concealers. I am going to go ahead, I'm going to shape tape, I'll be right back. Okay guys, I went ahead, I shape taped around the eyes, a little on the chin, the nose to the forehead, and I actually have to be honest, the shape tape and this foundation work very well together. They just blended in so well, which as you know, um, girl, if you can't hang with my shade tape, you cannot be hanging with me. And so far, so good. So I'm very happy about that. Next, we are going to set that with the Lottie Setting Powder. I'm actually kind of excited. It's Ready, Set, Go Matte Translucent Finishing Powder. I'm going to take some with my Damp Beauty Blender. I'm going to put her up under... Oh, oh, I poofed in it. I went poof and it went all over. Okay, I usually like to use my Damp Beauty Blender anywhere I put concealer just because I don't ever want to like disturb those areas too bad with a brush. So I like to kind of get them first. And then I'm going to go in with a brush, put a little tiny bit on it that's going to go all over. And I'm going to just kind of dab the rest of it on my face. My face and like foundation and everything, it separates really easily and I'll end up with like weird patchiness all over my face. So I tend to like dab on layers instead of baking. I used to bake all the time. As you guys know, you've seen it. And I noticed that as of late, at least, I don't know if my face is just like going through a midlife crisis, but it does not enjoy the baking process. You guys, I can't even, like this powder, it's nice. But my nose looks really good. Like the highlighted areas stayed really nice and highlighted. I am impressed, guys. Okay, there was no eyelid primer, I don't believe, by this brand. And at least if there was, I don't have it in all the crap that's sitting around me. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to prime with my Urban Decay Primer Potion. All right, and then I do go in, and I usually set that with my setting powder. All righty, next up is the Lottie London Arch Rival Brow Artist. I got this in the color dark. This is what the pencil looks like. And it looks like you got your standard... Spoolie, Ooh, that's a nice spoolie. Guys, I'm a sucker for a good spoolie, y'all know it. And then here is the little tiny pencil at the end, nothing crazy. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's get started. Okay, I did a one brow, and you guys, I actually really love the color of this, and I like the formula of this pencil. Like, I did have to push a little bit harder to get the pigment to come through, but what I really like is that it's a, it's not like an oily slip. So something to note, but so far, so good. I'm going to do the other eye. Okay, so I think I'm in love. My brows are fleeking. Like, they, I would actually go as far as to say they actually look kind of like sisters today. Okay, guys, next up is the Lottie Shadow Swatch. And this is the, the Rust's palette. Comes with this little brush and then... These shadows, I was trying to turn it into the light so you guys could get a better view of it. It's actually a really pretty palette. Um, Okay, those are just like five pathetic excuse for swatches right here. Boom, 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 boom. I know that brown one's supposed to be a swatch. It was on my thumb. What are you gonna do? But overall, they are swatching really beautifully. Ow, just hit my elbow. I'm gonna take my fluffy little cor corner. Stop. Crease brush. One thing I don't like is that I can't bend it backwards, so like I'm stuck holding it like this and then trying to see the shade and you know what I'm saying like I'd rather be able to bend it backwards but I actually do like the I know it's plastic packaging but it's it's like at least sturdy plastic so I can kind of appreciate that Nicole I'm gonna go in with the shade Nicole which is right here but anyways so while I do this while I pop that in the crease there um the reason I wanted to review this a not just because it just came to Ulta but because it is also um a good mix of like drugstore pricing um, like I think this palette was like 12 or 12.99 something like that 
um, all but the Lottie brand is a much more affordable brand than a lot of the other ones that I saw that were that have been new out to the market, like all these high end brands, which I do have another brand, Note, N O T E, and I will be doing a full face or as full face as I can with those here soon. Um, I also have a bunch of stuff from Color Cover Girl that I'm gonna do a full face on because I try to get like a good spectrum of price ranges. I, I know I get pissed off when I watch people and they're like, everything that they do is super expensive and I'm just like, okay, what if, how about you find me a mascara that's not $45, thanks. Okay, next I wanna go in with, how do I wanna do this here? Kinda, I'm like dying to go in with this second to last shade over here. I'm just like dying for it. And it's in the shade Jenny. I'm still Jenny from the block. Used to have a little, now I have a lot. Oh yeah, except that's not true. <laughs> Their shadows are blending really well. So this eye has the Jenny shade, this one does not. And it added just like a really nice, like sultry color. I'm not gonna say that their shades are super pigmented because they're not. Like for as much of this shade as I have put on here, it should be a lot darker than it is. I do like the color. I just wish that it wasn't marketed like in its pan as such a dark shade. And then, you know, you go to put it on, like I have put it right here. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I have put it in this area like five times now. And like, it should just be way darker. I'm gonna go in, actually, you know what? I'm gonna go in with Aaron, which is that darkest brown shade. And I'm gonna see if I can pack some of that onto the outer corner. Okay, so I put that like on the outer corners and I guess like, did it give me color? Yes. Is it like the nice, dark, rich pigmentation I was hoping for? No, I don't think that this, sh that this shadow range is as pigmented as it, as it should be, um, like for what it appears to be in pan. You know, I think that this red one, this red shimmer would look really pretty and I would never normally do that. Oh, oh girl. Okay, Okay. it's not intense as I need it to be because um, this is kind of in the show-stopping position. Like, that's where the showstopper goes. So I'm going to try and wet this with a little bit of setting spray and see if I can, after wetting it, give it a little more, um, see if I can hook myself up with a little bit more pigment out of it. Okay, so that actually blends out and looks really nice. Here, I'll zoom you guys in. So that actually looks pretty nice. I feel like it looks darker on camera than what it is in real life, but it looks really pretty. It's giving off like a nice sheen. And as you can tell, like this little white spot that I reserved right there, that's normally where I put that pop of color and you know, go in that way. But for right here, I think that it looks really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye. <laughs> After we do a dance, we'll zoom you back out. Wah, wah, wah. So the reason that I chose this palette is because I wanted to pit it against like the Urban Decay palette. I wanted to put these guys kind of up against each other so you could see like the shades are pretty dang similar. Um, I mean, as far as what you get, obviously up here, this is the Naked, down here, this is the Lottie palette. I wanted to do this to see like, is it a dupe? Is it something that, you know, maybe would be a good switch out for the Urban Decay one? Um, and obviously no, like Urban Decay, this definitely has the better pigmentation, better, I can't say better blendability because these did blend really well, but their pigmentation was not on point. This palette I have used several times and it is pretty on point. Um, for what for what I would expect from Urban Decay. However, this was like $12.99, this was like $54. <laughs> so is it a dupe? No, but I gotta be honest, like for someone looking for that that same like red smoky fire vibe that this one's kind of shooting for, this isn't the Rust palette by Lottie is not a bad, not a bad option. I, but I just wanted to kind of let you guys know those were my thoughts on that. That's why I chose this palette because I thought it looked similar to this one. Okay, I picked up the Lottie Wing Woman Felt Tip Eyeliner. This is what it ends up with. Should have washed the swatches off. It didn't. This is what you get for a line. Wow. Okay, guys, I went ahead and I did a tight line on the upper lash and I really like this. I feel like it is really nice, creamy, pigmented. It didn't bleed or it hasn't bled yet. It looks really good, so I'm very hopeful. Okay, next up, we are going to be bronzing up the skin with the Tan Time Bronzer. Look at those cute little stars. This is in the color Light Medium and hopefully Light Medium is good enough from face. <laughs> Okay, so light hand. Light hand is necessary because, uh-oh. Okay, I did my face and I really like that. I like that the light to medium, it actually isn't too dark. I, it looks really dark on this side, but in real life it's not that dark. Plus I'll be blending it out again, so just give it a minute. 
but I did put it here and I feel like it's a natural and it blends really, really well. So I'm happy. So we are going to move on to Blush Crush. This is in the shade Drake. It's just like a really pretty peachy pink kind of nude. I'd say more pink than peachy, but a little bit. Let's go in here and see what we can get. Ooh, pretty. It's like a really nice, like natural kind of blush. But I really like that. Okay, all right, girl, I pick you, I gotcha. I like that color a lot. Um, there was no setting powders, or no, setting sprays by this brand that I could find on the website. So I'm going to set it with the Scandinavia finishing spray for oily skin. I'm just gonna let that sit for like a second and then we gonna start the mascara. We are going in with the Lottie London hashtag lash goals ultra volumizing mascara. This is the packaging, really pretty blue like metallic -y. <laughs> Let's see what the brush looks like. Oh my lord. Um, It's a wiggly Christmas tree and I wish I was kidding. Okay, do you guys see what I'm seeing right now? Like, that's concerning. That looks like a legit pipe cleaner, but like thicker than a pipe cleaner. This is by far the weirdest shape brush I've ever used. Ow. And I just stabbed myself in the eye with it. Mascara went everywhere. Great. Okay, guys, I wanted to come back on here and let you kind of see the mascara. It's actually a very nice buildable mascara, which I really appreciate. I left all the marks all over because I really wanted you to see, like, I, that brush, I, it went all over, like, here, under here, on the side of my nose, up on my mat, up here, down here, it went everywhere, everywhere. Was it a buildable mascara? Yes. Um, did I like the length definition, all of that? Yes. Do I think it could have been accomplished without such a cumbersome brush? Yes, because I felt like there was almost no way to hold this. Like, it just took me way too long to put on my mascara. So I have to let these dry. So I'll be back in a second with these gone, hopefully. As I'm sure you can tell, I look a little bit different. Camera was not recording. Joy to the world. Okay, okay. I went in with this um, the Shimmer Squad duo that they have. I went in and I, okay, stop. I used this bottom shade, the Troublemaker, because of course I have to have like the most poppin' highlight in all the land. And that thing is just, oh, that's a gorgeous highlight. Like I'm obsessed. I like, I want to blind a plane with my highlight. Like that's how intense I want it to be. I don't want anybody to get hurt on that plane. I just want them to be like, oh, what's that? What's that? that that's Paige's highlight. Um, so I like this. I like the quad. I actually really like, like, they, these things are pigmented as all get out. The pigmentation on these is actually really nice. Um, it does show a little more texture than I would typically like, but I mean, it's gorgeous, so I can't be too upset about it. I used the Slay All Day Longwear Lip Pencil in the shade hashtag TBT, which throwback Thursday, I'm assuming, or throwback to like, I don't know, the 90s. Look at this color. Um, but I use this lip liner with the color, it's their Slay All Day Longwear Matte Liquid Lipstick in the same shade. That's what I thought. They're a little dark for what I would normally do with this look, but it was either this or I picked up another lippy set that would have been like even a darker brown, so it would have been like massive 90s vibes. So overall, this is the finished look. I really love how it turned out. I'm actually liking a lot of these products so far. There's a couple I'm not a fan of, but I am going to get out of here. I'm going to go fix my hair. I'm going to go do my day. I will check in with you at the end of the day, let you know what wore well, what didn't wear. We'll kind of go through all of it together, but I just wanted you guys to see the finished product in all of its glory. Okay, guys, it is the middle of the day. It's like almost 1.30. I just wanted to give you a check-in and let you see the skin. It is looking pretty good. It's oily. Don't mind the dots as always. Um, but it's looking kind of shiny, but the foundation itself looks so good. Like there's no breakage like around it. It's not separating. It's not like pulling my mascara. I'm super impressed so far. The lipstick obviously has faded. Like I ate lunch, yada, yada. I'll reapply that here in a second. Um, but I just wanted to check in with you guys and let you see that it's looking pretty freaking good. So far I'm impressed. My normal, like everything by now has already faded and come off and it's just like, such a drag. So I'm really happy with how this is looking so far. My highlight is still popping like, whoa, Nelly. So I will see you guys at the end of the day, but I wanted to stop in, let you take a look at my face and I'll see you guys at the end of the day. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm so sassy today. <laughs>
I'll be right back. Okay guys, it is officially the end of the day. It is after seven o'clock, so this has been on my face for over 12 hours. I'm beyond impressed for the price of this foundation. I cannot get over, like it wore better than almost all of my foundations. Like I am, I'm insanely impressed with how well this wore. I blotted it once at like, I don't even know, it was probably like two or three hours ago. Um, and it, that I didn't have to blot it. It's been really like, it's very light on the face. Um, and I'm just, I'm super impressed with the foundation. I'm gonna kinda go through piece by piece and you know, give thoughts, all that good stuff. The um, setting powder, oh my gosh. For the first part of the day, I kept looking at myself in the mirror because my, like, my face was catching my eye, which is like the craziest thing for me because normally it's like, what was that? But I mean, my face has a lot of texture and pores and things like that that you can see. But what I thought was so cool is that when I looked at my face in the mirror, it almost looked like, like, porcelain like yes there was texture I mean obviously it's not a miracle worker but I was just so insanely blown away by how nice and even my complexion looked throughout the day um, it didn't cake up around my nose like down in here which is unheard of for my face my face is always 100% cake 100% of the time so I was like whoa overall I give this foundation like an A plus the bronzer highlights this look at this this still looks like I just put it on and that's after a whole oily day of everything. Like brush, brush, stop. Blush, bronzer, and highlight all look amazing still. Like I'm, I'm in awe of that. Like I said, there was a little separation on the eyelids, but considering it was on there for 12 hours, like I'm not, I'm not too upset about that because I feel like that's to be expected after, you know, 12, over 12 hours of wear. Um, the brows stayed in place. They didn't smudge off. They still look good. Like the oil didn't lift or separate those. Um, the mascara looks great still. My eyelashes only fell a tiny bit, but they're still really nice and, you know, up in, the, uh, in this direction. And the liner, which was like shocking to me, because a lot of times as the day goes on, my lids get oily. It transfers to the liner and then the liner ends up up here, like on my upper lid. And there was not, there wasn't even like a dismidgenable, dis, like tiny a bit of transfer. I feel like this makeup was super oily face friendly. I loved the lipstick. Like I said in the last clip, like I did wipe it off. I ate lunch and I just didn't reapply because I was super, super busy. But even the lipstick wore really well. Like it lasted through pizza, which I was just like, what? That's a thing? But it did. And I was like really impressed. The color was really nice, pigmented, and it didn't like ball up or get gummy, which was really nice. Overall, I I recommend this. Like the only thing I hated was the wand on that friggin' mascara. <sighs> this is probably the best full face first impression I think I've ever done. I'm I'm through the moon. I'm gonna wear it a couple more times, and if I end up loving it, you'll see it in a favorites video at the end of the month. But other than that, I'm just like whoo impressed, and that highlight is blindingly happy. Like like I said, I'm a highlight blinder person, and like this is just. The, it's it's so great. I'm so happy. About time that noisy ass air conditioner shuts off. Good lord. Okay, you guys, that is it for this video. I hope that you've liked it. I hope that it was helpful in some way or another. Or you just got to watch me, like, you know, do my face. Who really knows? But I hope that it was relatively useful in your life <laughs> in one way or another. As always, I will put the social media handles in the description box below because we both know, that totally rhymed, that you want to be my friend on social media. F -f 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 I'm a great singer. Thought about going pro, but you know, <laughs> never got that far. I hope that you have a great day, night, weekend, party, like whatever it is that you end up doing. I don't know, but I hope that you have fun doing it. And I will talk to you guys all later. Bye!